the Kama Sutra, what is it exactly? And if it speaks of sharing your divine energy with another individual, how does that play a role in the no attachment beliefs? If we are not meant to have attachment, we should share that energy with everyone and not have one particular individual to share that with. How do relationships that lead to a romantic marriage, how do relationships with your children work without attachment? This question is very natural. All of us have suffered from this kind of misunderstanding, every one of us. What we understand to be love is purely attachment, infatuation. The problem is that we have never experienced love. And so whatever we have in our life, we try to relate that to love, with love. We try to define that as love. Love cannot work with attachment. This is the whole issue is there. And love cannot be towards a person. When you are loving, you simply love, period, period. Your love is for everyone and love has nothing to do with sex. Sex is something else. We are not against sex. But sex is totally something else. Love can only blossom when your sexual energy has changed, evaporated. Our sexual energy is on the Swadhisthan Chakra. Normally it is translated in English as sex center. Are you familiar with chakras? And yes? Totally wrong, wrong translation. Swadhisthan. Swa means self, your own. Sthan is place. The second chakra is not sex center. It is the place where energy is. And what is happening now? The energy is in the liquid form. So when this energy is overwhelming, what is the nature of liquid? What is the nature of water? It will go downwards. And that is when you feel sexy. So once this energy is, is overwhelming, it will go downwards. That is the natural course of energy, of energy in the liquid form. And Kama Sutra is trying to tell us that there is another possibility. We are not talking about sexual orientation. You can be homosexual, you can be heterosexual, you can be anything. We are not talking about orientation at all. We are talking about turning the energy into Kundalini, which has not been understood properly. What is Kundalini? Have you ever, do you remember any definition of the word Kundalini? If you have studied the subject, anybody would like to try? Do you remember the, the meaning given in English for Kundalini? Do you? No? Yes. Right, exactly, but that is definition, but not exactly the meaning. Kundalini means potential. When you are born in the yogic tradition, in the Vedic tradition, the moment you are born, the moment, the minute you are born is registered. And so this whole system of astronomy and astrology, the moment you come out from your mother's womb, that moment is registered. And at that moment, what is the constellation of stars? And based on the impressions that you carry, because no child is tabula rasa. No child is born without any impression. Each child is born with impressions from so many previous lifetimes. Everything is accumulated there. So based on all this calculation, there is a system called Jyotish, which again has been mistranslated as astrology. Jyotish is not astrology. Some of you are learning Sanskrit. What is the meaning of Jyoti? Light. What is the meaning of Ish? Isha? Ish? God. The light of God. What is your potential to not discover God, not to find God, but to become God? To transmute yourself to become God. That is Jyotish. And Kundalini is part of this. 
how to find your potential. And that potential can only be found when the liquid energy is transformed into steam, vapor. What is the, the quality, the nature of steam? It goes up. It goes up. So once your energy is transformed, again, I'm not talking about orientation at all. That has got nothing to do. It is transformation of your sexual energy into steam. And then it goes up. And then comes a yoga teacher, a kundalini teacher telling you, this chakra is blocked, that chakra is blocked. No. Once it is turned into steam, you cannot remain blocked. It will just go up and all your chakras are instantly, that very instant, if they are not working properly, all your chakras are working anyway. This is the first information. Nobody is blocked. Nobody is blocked. Nobody is blocked. The good news is, but it is not moving properly. So once the energy becomes steam, then all the chakras are open. And Kama Sutra is telling you, look how to do this. <laughs> <laughs>